Hello, 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 guys. It is Monday. Woohoo! Second to last week of the summer, which I'm very excited about. I'm exhausted. This has been an exhausting summer um, for so many reasons. I think I've grown a whole ton. Um, I'm very confident with myself and uh, I've exercised a lot this summer and I'm very tired today. I exercised after work and oh boy, it was a doozy today. Um, and I have a bad headache, so that's awesome. But during work today, I met a incoming first year and she was very sweet. She was here with her family. Um, she's an athlete, so she's about to come to Davidson early to do preseason stuff. And she had a ton of questions about Davidson, and so did her parents and her grandparents. Um, and so, you know, she they came up asking if I could show them a building, so I took them there and then... She was like, I just have to ask. I've heard that your call, our, this school's extremely rigorous, and is that true? And how how hard do I have to study? And what do I have to worry about? And all this stuff. And I was her three years ago when I was just about to enter my freshman year. I was nervous. I was anxious. I was so worried. Um, about everything. Everything scared me. The concept of showering where other people shower scared me. The concept of parties scared me. The concept of no adult supervision ever scared me. All kinds of things freaked me out a whole ton. Um, so I was just happy that I could ease some of that anxiety for her and make it hopefully for her at least a little bit easier to come to college and not be so stressed all the time and I know because I've been there I was that person coming into my freshman year who was scared of everything to do with college so I completely understand where she's coming from um and to those of you who are about to go into your first year of college it's okay there will be days that are very hard and there will be days, maybe not for my sister because she's going to a school with her big sister, but there will be days where you feel very lonely. And I think that's the hardest part of growing up is that you go from having your family unit and you're all very close and you know, you live with them and you have your siblings who are, you know, close in age or far in age, but close in bond and it's like tough to leave that behind and make you know your own way in the world and then of course once you do it's not just you know you go from having like a whole cohort of friends and you know your friends and you know your friends siblings and you know your friends parents and you've met everybody and you know all these people and you have like 30 really close friends and like they have 30 other close friends and so it's a big network and you just feel very connected and grounded to the place where you are and then you uproot and you have to become connected and grounded to a completely new place with completely new people I think speaking as someone who is has very many friends in college I think the weirdest difference between high school and college friendships is that you basically first of all you basically live together that's one thing and so there's no nobody does sleepovers which is a bummer I feel like we should do more sleepovers but it's like, if you're not sleeping over to sleep over, like, you don't have a sleepover because you can always just go back to your room and your room is not that far away. Um, but the weirdest part about college friendships is that when their parents come into town, it's a big deal to be asked to meet someone's parents. That means you're, like, tight. Um, my best friend and I, uh, when her parents came for Parents Weekend last year... 
um, she invited me out to dinner with them. Uh, it was like a nice fancy dinner and her parents paid for it, of course. And like, I got to get to know them. And that was just crazy to me that that was like, she's my best friend and she was my really close friend freshman year, but like sophomore year, my best friend. And now she's my best friend. She's my, she'll be my best friend all through college. She'll be my wedding, all that stuff. Um, and so it was just so weird for like that, like we're 19, 20 years old. And that was the first time I was getting to meet her parents. And like, it was a, it was a big deal. Whereas like in high school, you'd go over to your friend's house and be like, sup, like, we're going to go hang out in the backyard and not see you and not hang out with you and not talk to you and get to know you and stuff and bye. Um, just because they were always around or like, you know, down the road or, um, uh, you know, upstairs while we were downstairs. It's just interesting for that dynamic to change where it goes from like meeting people's parents as like standard and commonplace where it's like your mom won't let you over to someone's house if she doesn't know their mother to like college where it's like, oh my God, so-and-so's parents are coming into town. They want me to meet, like they want to meet me because they've heard about me from my friend and now they want to meet me and that now I have to like be on my best behavior. I have to dress up nice. I have to like talk nice and I can't swear and all this stuff. Like I want to impress them. I want them to think I'm a good person to, to be around. And like, it's very stressful meeting parents from, you know, freshman fall, like your parents and you you're meeting a ton of parents because people come from parents weekend. People come for orientation like everybody's parents are around freshman year especially in the fall and then slowly as you gain friends like later on in life it's very very like slim chance you're gonna meet their parents just by coincidence and so meeting people's parents becomes like a big thing and I think college is the first time that that happens but it continues to be a huge thing for the rest of your life where it's like if you want your significant other to meet your parents or your best friend to meet your parents like that person's going to be in your life for the long haul so now I have to get my parents to come down to my school to come and meet my best friend because I've met her parents and she's heard a lot about my parents but they haven't ever met in person and so now I have to get her to meet my parents so that she can have to be on her best behavior and meet them. And, you know, she's already really excited to meet my sister. Um, unfortunately, my best friend is going abroad for the whole fall. So she's going to have to meet, my parents are going to have to come down in the spring or something so that she can meet them. But yeah, so it was a good day. And the the mom, her mom, this girl's mom paid me the highest compliment I think I've ever gotten. She was talking about, she was just saying like, you don't know a school until you come on campus and you're not there being told the company line by someone, you're just being helped and you meet a student. And to think that my daughter was so worried about coming here and I feel so much better knowing that campus is probably full of people like you. And I was just very touched. It's so nice for me, I think, there are a lot of people out there who make it their mission in life to either be mean or to be so entitled that they kind of are mean by an extent. And I think it's just so lovely to be a nice person and to get compliments like that and to make someone's day better. So here's a challenge. Go out and do a random act of kindness today. Take time out of work. Take take you know, time out of your schedule, your life, to just do something that's not for you or a family member, but that's for someone that you do not know, to ease their discomfort or their pain or their anxiety, because it just makes you feel so much better about yourself, and it makes you feel like people will go and do that for you, and then maybe you're having a really tough day, and someone says, hey, let me help you out the next time and it's just it's such a good feeling and if the whole world was like that we would be in a much better place so I will see you guys tomorrow hopefully well rested because I'm still tired um and maybe with another fun story to share who knows um I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow bye